Hello everyone. Today's topic is biasing circuits. Biasing circuits in the transistors. In the previous class, we have discussed about the need of biasing and the stability factor. Today we will discuss biasing circuits. <coughs> so biasing circuits are used to operate the transistor in the stable region. That is at the middle of the active region. Here, always we have to operate the transistor at the middle of the active region only. This is the DC load line uh, characteristics. For the output characteristics, we have taken the two points. If you draw the line between these two points, we will get the DC load line. Okay, what is the use of the DC load line and what is the operating point and why the transistor is deviating from this middle that we already dis uh, discussed in the last class. See here. Always the transistor should operate at the middle of the active region only. Then we can say that transistor is in stable condition. Okay, so because of some reasons, this operating point is shifting upwards or downwards. If it is shifting upwards or downwards, we have to keep the operating point at the middle only by using biasing circuits. Okay, that's why we can say that in middle of the active region, transistor will be in a stable condition. Suppose if it is deviating from the middle, by using the four biasing techniques, we will maintain the uh, operating point at the middle only. There are four biasing techniques we are having. In that first one is a fixed bias. And the second one is a emitter feedback bias. And the third one is a collector to emitter feedback bias. And the fourth one is self bias or the voltage divider bias. Let this, uh, let's discuss one by one. Today we will discuss about the <coughs> fixed bias. If you see the fixed bias circuit, this is a fixed bias circuit. It is having the two resistors, base resistance and the a collector resistance and it is a transistor. Here we are taking the NPN transistor. In NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside and in the base current, IB current direction is inside. Here also the collector current direction is inside. Here we are taking the positive terminal and it is a negative, it is a positive and it is a negative. Now let's see what is fixed bias. The fixed bias circuit is used to get the good stability. That is operate the transistor at the middle of the active region or middle of the DC load line. Okay, We already discussed it. So, because of some reasons, that the transistor is not operating in the middle of the active regions. Okay, to keep the uh, operating point at the middle of the active region, we are using this fixed bias. Okay, if you see the parameters in the circuit, uh, this RB is called as a base resistance and the IB is called as a base current, current passing through the base terminal. And the RC is called as a collector resistance and the IC, current passing through the collector terminal, and the VCE, the voltage between collector and emitter is called as VCE. VBE, the voltage between the base and emitter is called as a VBE, and VCC is called as a biasing voltage. This is about the circuit diagram and all the parameters in the circuit. Now let's apply KVL at the input side and the output side. So by applying the KVL, we will get the equations. Now let's see what are those equations we will get. So if we apply the KVL at the input side, see here at the input side, this base current is flowing. Okay, it is a uh, base current and it is a collector current. Okay, so at the input side, if we apply this area, bay input side means this VCC, RB, and the VBB, this line. <laughs> <coughs> okay, this is the input side and it is the output side. Now let's apply cable at the input side. We will get VCC, VCC, and here plus two minus minus VBE minus VBE is equal to voltage drop is IB into RB. IB into RB. Okay, here 
from this vcc is equal to <coughs> vcc is equal to idrv plus vbe this is equation number 1 Okay, next, if we apply KVL at the output side, see, yeah, this is the output side. Output side, we will get VCC, VCC minus VCE, VCC minus VCE is equal to IC into RC. VCC minus VCE plus 2 minus minus VCE is equal to IC into RC. So, this is the output equation, equation number 2. Okay, now we will see why the transistor will be in the unstable that we will see. If initially uh, in the active region or any region, we will apply the uh, DC voltage to the transistor. If you apply the DC voltage, that is biasing voltage. So, assume that it's biasing. If the biasing voltage is increases, if the biasing voltage is increases, what will happen? The junction temperature, the junction temperature increases. If you increase the supply voltage, automatically transistor get heated and the junction temperature will be increases. Okay, if the junction temperature increases, the river saturation current, the river saturation current increases. If the river saturation current increases, automatically the output current IC increases. If the IC increases, what will happen? The operating point, the Q point or operating point. Operating point that is VCE comma IC will also shift towards upwards. Okay, initially it is in the middle of the active region, but because of these reasons, the operating point is shifting. Hence, we can say that transistor will be in the unstable condition. Unstable condition. To stable this operating point, we are using this fixed bias. Now, we will see this fixed bias is suitable or not. Okay, so why this operating point is shifting upwards with the equations we have already seen in the need of biasing. If anybody is not watched the need of biasing video, uh, please go through that video. Then we can you can find uh, you can easily understand this step. Okay, uh, with equation we already explained clearly. Okay, now we'll see. So because of this reason, transistor will be in the unstable condition that is not operating in the middle. To make it stable, we are using this fixed bias. Now, we'll see the stability factor of the fixed bias. Okay, from equation 1, so we will take the equation number 1. From, from equation 1 input side, so equation 1, we have VCC is equal to VCC is equal to IBRB IBRB plus VBE. This is the equation we have. So for this we have to do partial differentiation with respect to IC. Now we are doing partial differentiation with respect to IC. As it is a voltage term, here it is 0, constant. That is, next is equal to dou IB by dou IB by dou with respect to dou IC into RB plus 0. Okay, this is the equation we are having. Now, from this separate dou IB by dou AC, we will get <coughs> dou IB by dou IC is equal to 0 we got. Okay, but we know that we know 
stability factor formula we know we know the stability factor formula s is equal to <clears throat> 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta into do ib by do ic this is the stability factor formula we are having now in all the biasing circuit we have to derive the this all the after doing the partial differentiation we have to uh, extract this term do ib by do ic term we have to separate the do ib by do ic term from the equation after doing the partial differentiation we have to separate the do ib by do ic term in all the biasing circuits because in the stability factor we have to sub, uh, substitute this do ib by do ic value in the stability factor formula okay in each and every biasing circuit after doing the partial differentiation, you have to separate do IB by do IC term. In the fixed bias, we are getting the zero term. But in the other biasing circuits, you, you will not get zero. You will get some value. So you will get some formula. That formula or some parameters, you have to substitute in this do IB by do IC place. Okay, now I am doing in place of do IB by do IC, I am substituting zero because we are getting the zero in the fixed bias. So now if we substitute, we will get S is equal to 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta into 0, you will get. Finally, stability factor you are getting S is equal to 1 plus beta. Okay. General, generally, <clears throat> this beta value is 50. Okay. Generally, the uh, beta value will be in the 50 range. The range is 50. Okay, uh, sorry, not 50, it is 49. If it is 49, if it is 49, yes is equal to 50. If beta value is in 49, then yes is equal to 1 plus 49, that is is equal to yes is equal to 50. So, from this we can say that transistor will be in the unstable condition because always the S should be equal to 1. Okay, then generally S should be equal to 1. Then we can say that stable condition. When the S is equal to 1, stable condition. As S is equal to 50 we are getting, the transistor will be in the unstable condition. Okay, in the stability factor, we already discussed the stability factor formula. And when the S is equal to 1, then the transistor will be in the stable condition. When S is not equal to 1, that is here S is equal to 50, we are getting. That means S is not equal to 1, then the transistor will become unstable. So here, if you substitute the value, uh, if you substitute this in the do AB by do AC value, do IB, the uh, stability factor formula, S is equal to uh, do IC by do IC naught. Do IC by do IC naught. Here, do IC is equal to do IC is equal to 50 into do IC naught. We got uh, S is equal to 50. So, from this, we can say that do IC is 50 times of do IC naught is due to the temperature. In the fixed bias, in the fixed bias, the stability factor is very poor. That is, operating point is unstable. Because here we are getting S is equal to 50. So, the st uh, stability factor is very poor. Instead of getting 1, we are getting 50. From this, we can say that fixed bias cannot control the junction temperature. Okay. This fixed bias cannot control the junction temperature. So, this is not a val valid biasing circuits. This is not a valid biasing circuit. To improve the stability factor, we will go, we are going for the next stability uh, that is biasing circuit that is emitter feedback bias in the next class. Okay, this fixed bias is not suitable for the uh, to uh, maintain the operating point is stable. So this is not a valid biasing circuit. Okay, so that's why we will go for the next biasing circuit that is emitter feedback bias. We will discuss in the next class.